What's up guys, I'm Rustin from rustmertech.com and this is another tutorial in assembly programming. In this class I'm going to talk about the move instruction and the rules we have to follow. So let's get started. Let's first talk about how the move instruction works and looks. First we have the move instruction here which is the MOV. Then next we have the destination operand. Then we use a, a comma after that. We hit space. Then we have the source operand. So basically what, how this works, the source operand moves into the destination operand. So the destination operand is basically equal to the source operand. So now there's certain rules we have to follow with the move instruction itself. So the first one, the first rule we have to follow is both operands must be the same size. I'm going to give you guys an example of that right now. I'm going to enter a couple times. I'm going to use the move instruction, hit space. Now I'm going to use the AX register, use the comma, hit space again, and use the AH register. All right, basically this won't work because the AX register is a 16-bit register and the AH register is a 8-bit register, so this won't work. So this will work. So if you move into AH, AL, this will work because they're both 8-bit registers. Or if we move into AX, BX, this will work because both these registers are 16-bit registers. So let's get back to the rules. Now, the second rule is both operands cannot be memory operands. I'll explain what that is right now. Let's first delete this here. All right, so we're going to use the move instruction again. I'm going to uh, use a variable name. Variable 1, hit comma. I'm going to use another variable name. Now. These two here, they are memory operands, right? We cannot move one memory operand into another one, so this won't work. If you want to get the value of one memory operand into another, there's only one way to do it. We have to use registers, so I'll show you guys how to do that right now. We're going to use the move instruction, and we're going to move into bx, the variable 2, right? So now the, the value of the variable 2 is in bx, so now we can move into variable one bx it's pretty much the same thing but like we, we can't directly move one uh, memory operand into another we have to use registers in between then we could get the value into the register we want so that's how that works now rule three the cs the eip and the ip registers cannot be destination operands now the next rule is an immediate value cannot be moved into a segment register so let's let's look at some examples of some uh, move instructions here. We can move uh, one register into another register. That's fine. We can move into a memory uh, register. So that's fine. We can move into a register memory location. That is fine. We can move into a memory. We can move into memory an immediate value. That'll work. And we can move into a register an immediate value. So that'll work. So that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a like. And if you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmoreTech.com, and thanks for watching.